All right, guys, in this episode, I have just flopped the front pulley. It goes twice as fast now. It was a total of $27. I'm going to walk you through step by step everything I did. And it's just like what we just did on the yard machines. And they go twice as fast when we do this. The FNR. You could do it with a regular mower, too. You just flip that front one. The one that used to run the deck is bigger than the one that runs the drive. You flip them around, and then they go twice as fast. It's so fast, I just did a wheelie. Stood it up on the end. Messed up the uh, fender on the back, but I got the body work done. It's looking better. All that in this episode. And I might even swap that surging carburetor out. Right here with the Troy built Pony. And I just did a top speed. It was five miles an hour. To remedy that, I'm going to do the front pulley flop. Put the big one up top, and if you look, the belt, it's pretty dry rotted. You can see it's pretty worn. I've got a new belt, and let me show you that. It was $23.99. It is a 5 8 by 72 inch. The stock belt, they call for a 69 inch, so we're adding three inches to it. Should be golden. Now, when I flip this, I'm going to drill a hole straight through this and through the crankshaft and put a bolt through it. Uh, the stock way, they had a key, but it's only at the top. If you flip it over, there's no key. It would just spin. That would be no good. Uh, step one, I've loosened this bolt. I'm going to take out these two belt guards. I'm going to bend these down a little bit. We'll flip it over and we'll start drilling. I just took this bolt out. It's a 5 8 I actually put a pair of vice grips here. Gave it a little turn with the uh, ratchet. Came right loose. Now I've got the clutch depressed. Parking brake is on. And I've been tapping on this pulley. It's sliding right off. So now you can see the key in there. Right there you can see it. If we flip it over, there is no key. But we want to use this pulley. So I'm going to take off these two belt guards, bend these tabs in a little bit, and we'll start drilling. With the pulleys now off, I'll remove these two belt guard bolts. And with my hammer, I'm going to bend over these tabs. I'll show you where the pulley rides originally. All the way up the top of this flush with the uh, frame so the new one we're gonna put it all the way up it'll be uh, slightly below I don't want it rubbing but to do that I've got to bend, it, bend down these belt guards that's where the hammer comes in one down two to go with the belt guards tuned up the pulley goes up, and that's about exactly where I want it, right there. Maybe down slightly. That's where I want it. So now I'm going to drill a hole right about here. I'll measure the uh, crankshaft first, then measure, mark a spot. I need to be up into the uh, crankshaft meat. I don't want to miss the crankshaft. When I measure the crankshaft, it sticks down about three inches. On the pulley, I've measured and about two and a half inches is here. I'm going to drill in as close as I can get it to the pulley, the chuck, as close as I can get to the pulley without the chuck rubbing on the pulley. And that'll be good deep into the crankshaft meat. i got to go in as straight as I can and as square as I can. Now the only real dilemma so far when I go to drill, this frame's in the way. So I'm going to cut this frame up, probably bend it up, then after I get finished, bend it back down and then maybe screw a plate over it. Strengthen the frame back up. Pulley swap update. I've got this magnet holding the pulley in place. I just ran this drill bit through as my pilot hole. It is all the way through. And up next, I'll get a bigger bit. We'll probably go three times. The last time being 5 16 so I got a 5 16 grade 8 bolt that's going through. So this is actually my second pulley flop on an FNR mower. The other one was a yards machine. I'll leave you a link. And I timed it this time, it took about seven minutes. That's doing some recording, some talking, and drilling. Pilot hole, medium sized hole, and then this hole. And now it's time to put the bolt in. Here's what the hole looks like in the crankshaft slash pulley. And here's what the bolt looks like. This is a grade eight bolt. It's a 5 16 bolt. It's an inch and three quarters long. I think the bolt was $1.39. The locking nut was 25 cents. So what are we up to? $25 for the belt. About $27 total. If you want to see what the hole looks like in the crankshaft. 
There it is. A lot of meat left below this. If you want to go back stock, you take that stock bolt, put it right back through there. Bend these back out, put those two back in. Not in that order. Bend these out, put those two in, put your uh, pulley back on, put the bolt back in. Put this belt, hang this belt on the wall somewhere. I just installed the bolt, put the nut on it, tightened up with my half inch socket and my wrench. It's now ready to put the belt on. And now if we look down in the hole, the belts, both belts are back on. I gotta get the battery back in. And it's test drive time. It is speed check time. Had to bring down the rollback for Troy today. Shredded a back belt. Too much speed. It's okay, we'll get a new belt for it. Little update on Troy after swapping that after flopping that front pulley is doing 11 miles an hour and I'm going wide open and the back belt I smell a little bit of rubber it shredded the back the top this is one of the drive belts there's two so I just bought a new this one's an inch longer 73 by 5 8 and this is a new well it looks new it was new the other day this is a 35 by 5 8 borrowed it off of the uh, yards machine I'm guessing Maybe the 72 inch was too tight and it shredded the little belt, so we're going to try a 73 and a 35. Here with the Troy, I just got the belt put on, both belts. Had to take two bolts out of the axle, lift up on it, and that gets you a little bit of clearance between that big pulley and the frame. So the upper drive belt's on, the lower drive belt, that's the blue one that you can barely see. It's on. As soon as I get the battery back in, get these two bolts back in, not in that order, get these two bolts back in, get the battery back in, then it's time for another test drive. The Troy is all back together. I got the axle bolted back in. I've got the belts are on. That top belt and the bottom belt. A little bit of a pain, but it's on. I gotta put the battery back in, but the battery right now is in Colonel Craftsman. I might go out and steal the battery out of the zero turn. There's an idea. So it just came up a rainstorm, but that's okay. I got the battery. We're gonna go do a Troy built test run. Here with the pulley flop Troy built, and I've got it up on a bucket. We can look underneath it. I just got the belts back on. The blue belt, this is my 73 inch by 5 eighths. The black belt in the back, kind of hard to see. It is a 35 by 5 eighths. I just took off a belt guard. Uh, it was right up in this area. It was rubbing on my new belt. Maybe you see the shininess. Got that off. It is now time. Well, I need to do a couple of belt keepers here. But I think it's time for a speed check. And I have found another carburetor. This is a 17.5 engine and it's a 12.5 carburetor. I found a 16.5 in the garage off of a Kohler. We're going to see if it'll fit. And I need a gas cutoff valve, but until I find one, vice grips.
Belt swapping. I'm loving it. Belt flopping. Come show them what's up. This is what we flopped. It's uh, this big versus that big, twice as fast. Just hit 12 miles an hour. Get a good view of it now. Messed up the uh, fender on the back, but I got the body work done. It's looking better. Here in the garage with Troy, and this carburetor not only surges, it's also leaking gas. I guess the needle seat's not closing. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take this off, and I've got a replacement, and we'll see if this one will fit. This is straight off of a Kohler 16.5, and this is a 17.5. The carburetor was off of a 12.5, so 16.5 would be a little bit close to what we're looking for. We'll see how it goes, if it fits. So on the carburetor swap, I took the bowl off, and it's super clean on the inside. Look at that bowl. I guess I'll still take it apart, make sure it's clean uh, in the jets and whatnot. But when you go to put it on, they've got it where it almost goes on, but it won't. But it's okay. I got some drill bits on the floor. So I'm using a 5 16 drill bit, making the holes slightly bigger. I start on the small side first, and that keeps me straight going through this big side. And it's just aluminum. slides right on. The Kohler carburetor is now on. The only catch was I had to drill out those two holes and the fuel line goes on on the opposite side. But it's on. Maybe time for a gas pedal. Finishing up the Troy project and the mud hole is being filled as we speak. The last thing I'm going to do in this video, I had to do surgery on the frame to get access to drill the hole. And I've got this piece of angle iron. This came off of a, was it an adjustable bed? Was it a couch? Anyway, I cut off eight inches. I'm going to maybe use the holes that are already in it and bolt that on there. Good news on my bracket. There's a bolt hole in the bracket and there's a bolt hole in the frame that I'm going to be using. Once I bolt that on, I'm going to drill here and there, three bolts, angle iron, that should strengthen it up. And then we can paint it red. Maybe not in this episode, but it will be red in the future. And while I was hunting that angle iron, I found this belt keeper. It might go under there to keep my belt on better. Something you can look forward to. The plate is now bolted on. I probably should have had that on before I was popping wheelies, but I don't think anything was hurt. That little gap isn't getting bigger at the bottom. Anyway, um, that's all for this episode. I'm going to leave the cowling off as I work on the gas pedal. And you'll probably see a gas pedal in the very near future.